Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. For the past few days, I've just started a series of videos uh, for the Airbus A320neo. And this is the second video in that series. Um, I'm going to explore all the options available with the Airbus A320neo. Although I've done a um, few tutorial videos for this plane. But it was, I think, almost two years back. But now um, I just want to um, explore this plane in detail and want to explore all the things that you can do with this plane especially for the beginners and especially for those people who are on xbox because i keep on uh, getting too many questions regarding xbox as well so this video is for the beginners um, but uh, if you're at a certain level of expertise um, i think this video not really help you uh, so much but if still you're here thank you very much for watching this video this is going to be a really short one and i'm going to give you an introduction of the cockpit lighting uh, for all the controls for the pedestal uh, for the upper panel and uh, for the pfd and for the navigation display and pfd is the primary flight display which is over here uh, once you are in the plane right now you can see the lighting is good you can at least uh, see the panels uh, but still if you enter in the plane and if it's very dark it's a very simple trick you can uh, use the flashlight which is available in the Microsoft Flight Simulator by pressing Alt and then L. Once you press Alt and L, this flashlight is available. So the panels and everything gets really clear with this light. Uh, so once you have this light, you have to turn on the battery switches, which are over here. And uh, now you can see the lights are up and uh, you can see everything. With this, you can just press Alt L again and you can get rid of the flashlight um, then once you have uh, the power on the batteries you have to turn on the external power as you can see it's available if the external power is not available then you have to call for it from the communication option you go to this communication option go to ground services and then you have to request for the power supply if the power supply is not there although i'm going to do another video in which i will cover all the uh, startup procedures uh, for this plane but for this video i'm just giving you uh, a very uh, short uh, what you can say uh, flavor of it <laughs> um, that you can just turn on the external power and then all the lights will be up now for the upper panel if you go over here you can see uh, this overhead panel uh, lighting there is this knob you can just increase or decrease the lighting it remains the same for all the planes, either you are using the Phoenix Airbus A320 or the Airbus A320neo or any other um, um, Airbus A320 and X-Plane 12 like, like uh, the Flight Factor Airbus A320. So this is how you increase and decrease the lighting of the panel. Still, if uh, after turning on this light, still you see, feel that you know everything is not really visible and you want to have more lighting, there is a dome light. If you go over here, you zoom in. You see this. Uh, <laughs> you see this option: uh, um, dome light, uh, dim, and bright. So it has got two positions. This is the dim. If you see over here, this is the dome light over here. So these two lights are here. So you can uh, have this light, and you can see now the cockpit is bright. And plus, if you also want to increase the brightness, you can move it to the second step, and uh, the cockpit will get more bright. Okay, so that's it. So I can right now turn it off. Now, another thing, um, if you reset your view and you go here, you will see two uh, knobs over here as well. One is for the floodlights and another one is for the uh, lighting for the pedestal over here. So for the floodlight, if you increase the brightness, I will just show you over here you can see the floodlights are here, which makes uh, um, all this uh, very visible. The ECAM, the PFD, the ND. You can also adjust the brightness. I usually keep it over here because full is too bright. So it's uh, better to keep it like this. And for the pedestal, again, if you turn on this knob, you can have the lighting. That's it. And uh, for the MCB, you can see there are two knobs over here. If I decrease these knobs, let me turn on the flashlight so that these knobs are really visible for you. 
you can see these two knobs okay one is for the back light another one is for the display so this one is for the display increase and decrease and this one is for the lighting for the backlight for the panel so these are two important things another one let me just uh, turn off the flashlight because we don't need it now okay then you see uh, these knobs over here this is uh, the knob for the uh, brightness of the primary flight display and this is the knob for the navigation display so you can increase or decrease the brightness of the primary flight display and the navigation display okay so you can adjust it accordingly and that's it similarly you can do the same thing uh, for the co-pilot uh, co side or the first officer side then there is another switch uh, which is uh, uh, for the for the captain and for the co-pilot it's not available in this version but i think in phoenix it works if i'm not wrong kindly correct me if i'm wrong okay then uh, two more knobs over here so these are the um, ecam the upper ecam and the lower ecam and if you move these knobs you can increase and decrease the brightness of the ecam so that's it it was a short video although i haven't connected the external power i was doing everything on the battery but you can connect the external power if you want <laughs> and uh, that's it now the plane has got the external power but whatever i did it was on the batteries because once uh, you turn on the batteries um, um in the cold and dark state all of the panels and li lights are off or dim you have to adjust the brightness and then you can call in for the external power as i told you before i will be doing a video on the starter procedures for this plane from the cold and dark state so i will also cover all these points in that video With this I would just like to end my video if you've got any questions do type in your questions in the comment section I will try to respond to your questions in time if there is a delay kindly excuse me for this because I've got a busy schedule and plus if you want to add anything to this video you can add it uh, one more thing I've got a Facebook page uh, the virtual aviator Atif Ahmed uh, you can go you can also subscribe to that page and uh, we can also interact over there I'm also uploading the videos on my Facebook page thank you very much for staying with me have a nice day Hope to see you soon.